Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play the Elder Scrolls Online. So we're just continuing on the quest we had here. We have to follow and... There he is. Let's follow him. Oh, there we go. So, we have to follow him at a distance. Too much of a distance? Yeah, maybe it was too much of a distance. So uh, last time uh, we joined the Fighters Guild, yeah, we did uh, some questing for them. Uh, we did an anchor. Hey, Ravel, no waffle today. The temple's forbidden all sales. Quiet fool. I paid you for your discretion. Remember? <laughs> um, and uh, anyways, and then um, we did an anchor. There was one over there somewhere, which was pretty cool. And then... Um, I was trying to get the Nord and the, uh, the Nord and the, uh, uh, Agorian, no, Agorians, I can't say their names now, and, uh, Look the here. reptile people. It's that fancy sword was in our camp. Hey, fancy man, fallen on any swords lately? <laughs> <laughs> Saying we shouldn't help the Dunmer? <laughs> like a Nord would ever turn down a fight. Anyways, he's been screwing with everyone, obviously. He's been... The three factions here, anyways. Guy looks like he belongs on stage or something. Such a beautiful game. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Drinks with crabs? <laughs> the drunk one took your advice, Silver Tongue. He now regrets it. For shame. It was just idle talk, friend. I assure you, I had nothing to do with it. I love his name. He went into that shack. Wait for him to leave. He's out. That was fast. Investigate the shack, okay. Try to get inside that shack. I will. You're very... A communication possible. spell. Let's see who Ravil called. What now, Ravel? So you're the meddler who undid all of Ravel's work? Yeah, sure. Such a waste of my time. Jesus, I thought it was a communication spell. How are you summoning scrap here? Here we go. I guess I can steal, right? Hee 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 hee. Oh. I didn't actually want the seasoning, to be honest. Not worth it. I just wanted to check. I guess all those would be seasoning. I just thought, you know, I'd check some stuff here while we're here. But I guess all these would just be seasonings, basically. Through that. This will have something more interesting. Nope, that was actually pretty boring. Okay, let's go. That woman wore a covenant uniform. So he's a bloody traitor. Can I skin him? Ravil must be working for the enemy. Yep. Can I cut him? I'm hold the hole. Let's just check his house. What are you doing here? I'm you gonna kick me. your ass right now. Canal That's what I'm doing. Potions. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to kill you, but I've chosen to kill you. Jerk. Okay. Looks like his house is pretty much searched out anyways here. 
Meh. Okay. So we kicked his ass, took him out. And, oh, here we go. The guards heard fighting. I assume you found more inside than just evidence? Uh, he attacked me. I had to kill him. Having him alive might have been useful. <laughs> Sorry? But having him dead is just as good. The ritual items in the shack on the docks and his belongings might tell us something more. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. There's salute. I want, is it different for each of the alliances? Probably. Cool. Okay, so uh, we helped with that and we finished that off. So I wanted to get that done. It was only five minutes worth there. I could have finished it up in the last episode, but I didn't want to hit the 60 minute mark. Eventually, we probably will accidentally, anyways. I just didn't feel like it. So yeah, we did this before Dolmen. That's what they're called. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the. Um, we're gonna check out the uh, magic uh, guild now, or join them up. So, I guess we can go in from here. I find sprinting faster than mount. I, I'm I'm probably wrong, but it just feels faster. So, for now, I'm gonna do it this way. Oh, do you oh, know how I understand you were instrumental in crushing the Daggerfall army at Devon's Watch? <laughs> the gods have cursed me. Oh, I'm doing a bad job getting out of here. Okay, so we are going... Oh, yeah, the Mage Hall. This is the Mage one, I believe, right? Yeah. Their symbol is that cool-looking bluish one on the map. So here's the Magister for registration. Have to try that try next not time I'm in the field. Stones. Honor to you, Sarah. Welcome to the Mage's Guild Hall. I realize that our presence here in the temple is unconventional, but I'm afraid that our former hall was raised just recently. One does what one must, yes? Have you come seeking membership? The Ma Mages Guild? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Uh, let's talk about uh, the Mages Guild. It's a pleasure to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Varnis will be pleased. Uh, what can you tell me about the Mages Guild? We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. What do I get in return? We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. I'm ready to join the Gale. Excellent. Welcome to the Mage's Guild. I suggest you begin by talking to Velast, our mistress of Incanabula. She's in the stacks on the floor below and often has tasks for new recruits. Good luck. Well, thank you. There you go. There you are. Join the Mages Guild. It took you long enough. Vlast, Vlast. Your uh, name's Vlast. Yes, that's just in line with the third law of Arcano Dynamics. Excellent. Well met, Adept. I believe I may have a task for you. Uh, what can I do for you? New members of the lifeblood of the Mages Guild, especially for retrieval missions. I've received word about a possible store of ancient knowledge in a ruin nearby. I'd like you to retrieve it for me. Where is this? West of here, on the coast near Ash Mountain, lies a Dwemer ruin, the Inner Sea Armature. If you please, investigate the ruin and bring back any interesting books you can find. I'll return as soon as I can. The Inner Sea Armature is a dangerous place. Tread carefully, adept. Okay, let's check out these ruins here. But tread blah blah blah. She seemed very, um, kind of mean, honestly. So, let's check on Do where we're going here. you know how long I've been looking for you? More long. So we're here, Mercy, friend. and it looks like, oh, we're going to go out here. That's cool. We haven't gone over there yet, so let's do that. I think this is kind of where we were before, right? When we are Defeating the Covenant on the ships and stuff. Ooh, nice leap there. Oh, who's a good puppy? Eh, 
Covenant infiltrators. That's that's actually kind of cool. So we really should have more guards. I feel like you know they 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 have three each, and there's just two guards there. Doesn't seem very safe, but. So much to do. Oh, I don't want to run all the way there. It seemed closer. It's like oh, there's a possible chest over there. It's like yeah, it's a lot of effort now. I think about it. A possible chest can wait there. There's a chest down at the beach, I guess, where we were before, which we never grabbed. But it might be a good opportunity for me to do that quickly because uh, I could show you the whole, you know, so you, you, you open those books now, or pick up those books, and they give you some experience to the Mages Guild, which I'm assuming I probably didn't keep or, you know, have any of the ones I had done before. I'm guessing, you know, those don't get counted. I'm sure there's other ways to uh, get some of the experience anyways, but I'm guessing I lost those ones. Interesting. Do I finish that? They don't attack me anymore. So there you go. Oh, there you go. Maybe maybe we did. I don't know. It's possible, anyways. But uh, there we go. Though that one's done, so that's cool. Are these something I can steal? Yeah. But that's interesting. This, the water skin always takes the longest. I just want to take these weapons here so I can break them down later on. I guess. Okay. Oh, I guess these guys were huh, interesting. I guess the ones that are separated are uh, interesting, huh? Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go over here and uh, we're gonna check this out. There's also a boss thing over here. I'd like to show you that. Um, we could check to see if anyone's around there potentially, but uh, it's later at night, so there might be no one around. But uh, basically, there's these bosses that are around, and you can kill them. Actually, this one looks like it might already be. Oh no, there it is. Yeah. So basically, unless somebody's around to help out with it, uh, there's no way I can solo it. Like you see the big boss health up there. Yeah, it's pretty badass. He's got uh, two, three of those little chevron things. So. You know how long, uh, you know how much just one of those are, and this guy has got three of them, so. Um, I think they're meant to be done by a group of people, usually. Not just one person, but like, you know, maybe three or four people. Uh, so, uh, yeah, unless if there was a bunch of other people here. Oh, oh, they just defeated that. Cool. Yeah, so unless there was a bunch of people there, uh, I won't even bother, so. Eventually, we'll, we'll hopefully do it, and I'll be able to capture it on camera. So, that's him. Oh, we're going this way. Sorry, I'm running around here. That's the cave where the prophet is, so for the main storyline one, which we'll do eventually. I'm not really rushing on that one uh, because it's like, <laughs> it's, it's, if we're going to do all three of the, um, if we're going to do all three of the areas and stuff, I'll probably have all that done even before I leave the first one. I'm just thinking like, eh, I might as well just do some of the content now and eventually go to them, so... Ooh, this is the cool ones. The mechanical. That's the part of the game I love because uh, they have mechanical stuff in uh, Elder Scrolls. It's, and it's like steampunk too, which is pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go. It doesn't really matter. We gotta go find these books in here anyway, so. There we go. Right, now. There's a one book thing here, I guess. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we got that one here. Cool. And then, um... This guy's just plowing through us. Where did he go? What the? What the? Some the warp ability, maybe, or something? Or not warping, but, you know. When you when you're trying to hit your button to loot, and everything just doesn't work for you.
I guess only one person can loot that at a time. That sucks. There's another book here. Oh yeah, let's get the Z in here, or might be further away. It'll be a boss thing too, I don't want to run out and miss him. Oh, here he is. So each of these uh, places uh, has like a little boss kind of guy. There we go. Nothing too special, but it was good EXP for the first time. I don't think you'll get as much EXP the second time or third time, whatever. But uh, you get quite a, well a decent done. amount. I am Shalador, young one. And I think you'll do nicely. Thank Return you. Return that book to the lost. Tell her fire Spread will show out. her the words. Fires will show her the words. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a recipe. It's from a uh, looting though, so. Okay. Is that him again? Oh yeah, it is. I don't know if I get loot this fast. I think there was like a an in between cooldown, but we'll see. Maybe you do get it again. Yeah, see. There's some sort of internal cooldown. Maybe you're only allowed to loot him every five minutes or, you know, something like that. So, because uh, he spawned again quite fast, it takes a while. Probably just because of the amount of people here, so. Uh, and then there's the Sky Shard. There's the Sky Shard, so we'll head over there and do that. Oh, there's a container over here. Go. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and uh, get that sky shard, and I think there might have been another book we have to get, but I'll get that out here in a second. Oh, look at that! Level fifteen. So two attribute points, two skill points. We got the weapon swap ability, and then you get uh, some cool stuff. So you can either get a range or melee. Honestly, I'm probably not going to use range as much, so I'm probably going to still go for like the cool dagger because you know what? A cool dagger that does a lot of damage. Hell, why not, right? Um, so two choices of tier crafting materials. Dungeon. Oh, next level. I see. So let's put those points in there, and then uh, yeah, I'll deal with that after. So we're, oh, here it is. We're going to go this way. Go. So maybe like these kind of places you can then find more interesting treasures. It's just more like just boring places you don't really, you know. Then we just need to one more book over here, I guess. Oh no, that's not just. Oh no, there. Oh, there is something else over there, but there's a mage book in here. I guess that's what I want. Let me grab that. Nice. Excellent. Okay. And then we'll go over here, I guess. Finish this off over here.
There you go, we got it. Awesome. And then or what's our exit? This way? Okay. So they're fun. Lots of lots of EXP and things to loot, and it's just a lot of fun, honestly. Doing a good charge there, jerk. Sure. I say I love looting. <laughs> there we go. That was pretty fun for our first uh, delve, delve, dwell, delve, something like that. Okay. Let's just take a quick look at this. I guess we're up here. No one's down here. Oh, there's somebody down here, but yeah. There's that person. There might be another person over here. So that's three, four people here anyways. I don't know why they're all skeletons though. Okay, we'll give it a minute, see if they do anything. Somebody just charged in. I don't know if that's a good idea for him, but we'll help him anyways. I don't think I want to be that guy's uh, bitch. He likes me the most, apparently. Is he onto somebody else? Oh, no, he's back on me again. There we go. I block him, it's not so bad, but still. Good healer. I love like being. I feel like the jack of all trades almost on this. Yeah. Oh crap. There go. We're good though. There you go. Look at that. You got all this cool stuff on here. Holy crap. I didn't expect that much loot. There you go. Might have made a, a good buck there. But it was a lot of fun, so that's what's uh, that's where it's at. So yeah, that's the the bosses, anyways. They have these bosses all scattered around. Um, so that was one of them. There's another one over here somewhere, I think. I guess that. I guess they don't have the skull after. Oh no, there's the skull here. Oh yeah, there's one here. Yeah. 
So that's pretty cool. So let's go back. I'll, I'll head back to the mages there and I'll be back here in a sec. Okay, and we're at the mages guild here. So we're going Always back down. A pleasure, e Over here! We have much to discuss. Were you successful? Do you have the tomes? Yes, I have them right here, and something strange happened. Well done. You're already proving your worth to the guild. Sorry, did you say strange? An old man what in happened? robes appeared to me and said his name was Shaliador. Shalador? Shalador? There you go. Labyrinthian's father, the spell mirror's forger. Are you speaking truly? And, uh, this book's pages are blank. Why is it glowing? He appeared to right after I picked up the book and said the fire would show the words show you the words. The spell rites of the first era used a special ink that would remain invisible until immersed in arcane fire. Ooh. Perhaps that's what he meant. We have a brazier nearby burning with such a fire. Let's see what the flames reveal. I'll give it a try. Cast the book into the arcane fire. Fear not. The pages will not burn. So whereabouts is this thing? Over here. Why is there a guard in the way? I did not understand a word of that. What has the fire revealed? <laughs> I can't stutter the words here. Understand the words here. Uh, they must be very complex spells. Complex indeed. Much of this is beyond my understanding, but here. This one is an attunement spell. We can summon Archmage Shalador himself. We'll need some ritual orbs. Uh, what do these orbs do? They'll focus your magicka, attune your life energies, and draw him to this place. The ritual will apparently also link your mind with his. What does that mean? It means that the Archmage will be able to guide you and speak to you whenever he chooses. Are you ready to begin? Yes, let's begin. To the center. Oh, damn. Yes, mistress. First, we attune your spirit to Shalador's. Ready. When you're set, use the orb before you. I knew it. I was right in choosing you. I can sense. Yes. The aura around you glows with good fortune. You will be the one to help me complete my final task. Oh, uh, why me? What I hope to accomplish is difficult, perhaps impossible. It will require great strength of spirit. I sense this strength in you. That is what drew us together in the ruins. Uh, what is this task? A storm rages towards us, adept. War has come to Tamriel, and the mages of this great guild must have quarter. I intend to offer them a safe haven. A sanctuary where they may study in peace. How do you create this sanctuary? I created that sanctuary centuries ago. It was stolen from me by an agent of chaos and magically transported to the Shivering Isles. To recover the island, we must locate four hidden tomes. This is the task of which I speak. Uh, where are those tomes? They are being held in the place known as Cheesemonger's Hollow. It is a realm of the mad god, Sheogorath. Stand by my side, and I will open a portal. Sounds good. I'll stand it with you. Be careful. Sheogorath is not to be taken lightly. I lost the sanctuary because of his nimble tongue and mad stare. <laughs> there you go. No, oh, how quaint. A mortal. Well, what is it? Here for some noble purpose, no doubt. I'm here for Archmage Shalador. I've been uh, sent to retrieve some books. Spell books? How pedestrian. As it happens, I'm feeling particularly charitable at present. I'll allow you to enter. After. After what? After a test of your resolve. This isn't a lending library. If you want the spell books, <laughs> you'll have to earn them. A portal has been opened, just behind you. 
close it, and I'll grant you passage. I am ready. Close the portal if you can, though you may want to deal with those scams first. Well, I'm happy to close it first. Okay, so there you go. I'm ready to close the portal. See, I was done and I dealt with it. There was nothing else there, you lying son of a so. I just don't like to be lied to. I dealt with them, there was no one there, and then I wasn't allowed to close the portal, well, I so. I suppose. <laughs> there you go. That was unexpectedly competent. You'd make an adequate house servant. I don't suppose you'd consider it. The pay is meager, but the fringe benefits are appalling. No, thank you. Pity. The tomes you seek are beyond the door at the top of the stair. Once you're outside, follow the path. Thank you. Just doing the master's will. I will open the door for you. Oh, and mind the scamps. The little imps adore fresh flesh. Such children. Right. Why is there explosions right going on? Are we like inside a volcano or something? Oh, actually, look at there's lava on the map there, so maybe we are. <laughs> it's like the only, it's the only real explanation I can come up with, honestly, because it's like and please, you're not really not to make a mess of things. You're not really should have uh, explosions going on. Yeah, we must be in the the mountain there. Happy adventuring. Okay, this is a cool entrance. Feels well guarded. Imagine living in this place, it, like feels so secure. Now, because you're in the mountain and it's like, even though it's really hot out here and stuff, would it be like cooler inside of that place? Plus, I mean, then again, isn't like certain volcanic uh, like ash and stuff like that actually very toxic, like gases that can come off of it? So I don't know if that'd be even uh, a safe thing, but probably overthinking this, I'm sure. Someone to play with you! Uh oh. Oh, look at this cute thing. It's actually kind of adorable looking. Oh, it's one of those ones that like to come at you and hit you in weird ways, and they're kind of jerks. Hope he doesn't like you, does he? There you go. I want these books, though. Okay. Oh, well, no. well, well. What do we have here? I want my books. Bobby Killer, come to steal me books? Where? Who? Where? What? When? Sometimes why? <laughs> Speak up. Honesty is the best policy, as far as you know. <laughs> I'm here to recover the four tombs from Shalidor. Shalidor? Oh, that pompous Nord and I go way back. I know what he wants. Indeed, I do. <laughs> His island. He wants to steal it back. <laughs> How I love a challenge. All uh, right, I'll just take them with me then. Now, where's the sport in that? I'll tell you what. I'll give you one book in exchange for your heart or lungs. Your choice. <laughs> no, wait. I have a better idea. Let's have a contest. A contest wrapped in a mystery with an enigma glaze. Oh, what fun we'll have. What kind of contest? A few tasks, the odd death trap. Nothing so difficult to say reassembling the staff of chaos or rebuilding the new medium. <laughs> Take the first book, Puppy Killer, and I'll give you an additional book for each test you pass. Are you game? I suppose. Excellent! Cheese and cabbage for everyone! But wait, we should inform Shelly Dorable of our deal. With any luck, he'll die of embarrassment all over again. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, that's how it works. I can't wait to see the look on his face. If it's precious enough, I might hang it on the wall. 
You're gonna piss them off. Oh, oh, look at this! I got a crafting style. What's the meaning of this? Shell Gorath. Well, that's not worth a lot, apparently. Well, it can be. Though. Ah, Shalador. You never ride. You never visit. Just now, I made a deal with your lackey here. How long have you wanted those books? Eternity. <laughs> your deals are hardly fair. What farce have you contrived this time? Think of it as an adventure. <laughs> And don't worry, I've got a surprise for you, too. I put a tiny curse on these books, just a small one. <laughs> Long story short, Shal, you can never read these books. Curse you, mad god! Boring! Be more imaginative, Shal. Like, <laughs> curse you, mad god! May you become cheese eternally gnawed by skeevers! Unfortunately, I have no more time for constructive criticism. Do stay in touch. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Curse the mad god. I don't know what game he's playing with you, but I do know the stakes. Uh, at least we have one tome. That's true. Though without my help, it will take Velast considerably longer to translate it. I'd like you to return and let her know the bad news. I'll tell her. I'll send you back to Tamriel then. Are you ready? I am. Hello. There we go. Over here. You radiate an aura of power. Does this mean you have the books? Only one. Uh, Shellgrowth was uh, is going to make us pass tests to earn the others. Tests? Well, that's a start, I suppose. What of Shalador? He was drawn away from here in a burst of light. Yeah, Shellgrowth summoned him. Not good. Not good. I'll start translating this right away, but I hope Shalador returns to help. Uh, Shellgrowth cursed the tome. Shalador cannot read it. Zarxus's backside. Then this is going to take a while. Check in at a guild hall from time to time. I'll leave word for you when I've finished. I will. In the meantime, keep an eye out during your travels. There are many lost tomes scattered throughout Tamriel. Who knows, any one of these books may help us restore Shalador's lost island haven. Pardon me, I must begin this translation. These runes? Fascinating. <laughs> well, you have fun doing that. Always a pleasure, Thar. So there we go, my friends. Not too shabby at all, not too shabby. So what do we have today going on? Do we have anything stolen? Oh, we do, do you have stolen know how stuff. Long I've been looking for you? Um, so, yeah, this one, I don't know if you'll actually get what you can get. So if I hit... Okay, so you have to do... How do you link? Link in chat. Does it paste it? No, you can copy it. So there's uh, TTC ESO, I think it is. Yeah, Tamriel Trade Center. So I wonder if I can search for this. Oh, God. It searches it, it like... Oh, wow. Item. So it puts the whole... Huh. Does it know smart enough? No, it doesn't. So you have to search for it. It does uh, the code for it instead. Crafting motif. Motif? Eight orc style. So there's orc style here. So if we search this on the internet, the interwebs... Uh, so we put it for 60, 500, 1,000, 250, 88. Oh, God. So some people put it like candy, basically. So you're more likely never going to sell that for the price you might wish it's worth. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Let's see here. Guild store, please. So, do we even have any more items on there? Um, no, we have to switch here to us, made in Canada. And then let's check our listings here. Oh, we have that, and oh, this never sold, but we put it on, I think, a higher price, so that might be why. Um, let's see what people sell this. Pewter dust. I don't know why it went to that. I guess their website is really, really broken. It's like we can't afford server without ads. Well, I would unload it if you guys didn't. Here you go. Anyways. Oh, some people sell it. Oh, that's one dust, though. Basically, they need to be putting like 200 of them on there. It's not really worth it for most people, but. Yeah, I don't know. 
anyways it might sell it might not um, let's check out what else we can sell here so we could try putting this on here so it could go on average it says that much um, so we could say okay just sell this for 200 then potentially because if it sells it sells it's 200 and then this guy on average yeah so obviously you're not going to get a lot for it. if it sells for 500 let's say that's a good deal somebody might buy it just because it's there for them make it easier if not who knows I don't know where this place is listed might be in a good spot uh, that's where the thing Tamriel is so massive and big it could be really anywhere honestly so it's kind of hit and miss in that sense um, here's a recipe I think we'll just eat this instead can I do it right clicking no I guess we'll have to leave that till I'm um, out of this interface and then yeah I don't think anyone really cares about that so that's pretty much all you're gonna get from that stuff really but uh, yeah it's pretty cool though and then uh, lets us put more on there there you go I'll have to do more farming you know get wars and things like that and you know smelting you know some of it might I've be worth something you know obviously sometimes it's not so you got to figure all the ins and outs on that as well so uh, and then usually what I do off camera I'm you know we're pretty much done for this episode so I just do it here now is I go over here and uh, I basically uh, well, that's not one of the rooms. This one here is the first one. I go through here and I check research, see if there's something going. Obviously there is. So I just go to deconstruction. I just go through the list. I'm like, okay, boom, boom, boom. Now we did get, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to even do that, but we got to the new level there. So we do have the ability to use our bow here. So we can go ahead and switch it. You just hit your little, uh, the key beside your one. I usually call it the tilde key or whatever, but, um... The only thing is, I'm not going to probably use it much anyways, just because I'm happy with what we have. But, that being said, you can go ahead and flip this around. So you could say, put Biting Jab on here anyways, and then you could put this on here, and then you could put this one here. And then you can do uh, dual wielding, because uh, you still probably want to put that on here. So oh no, sorry. Oh yeah, no, yeah, there would be dual wielding on here. And then uh, you'd go ahead and you'd put your bow skill on here as well. Um, I guess I could go for a higher one soon, but whatever. Is it the same order? Yeah. So I'm using the same one, so when I do flip around, I could do that. The funny thing is you can still use all this, except now you have this one as well. But uh, And then one of the class ones I would do is probably the Nova one on this one. But I'm not really, really interested in doing uh, dual wield right away. Um, I think I've played before and I think I use it so much, but I feel like my melee and everything's doing so bloody well that I don't give a crap about, uh, well, not dual wielding, sorry, uh, using my other, uh, weapon, basically swapping them and going range because I feel like I'm doing so well with what I have now that I just have no real interest in that yet. I mean, obviously as time goes on, I'm sure I will do it. It's just, so far, I just don't feel like I need to and, uh, maybe that's a good thing, right? So we have, uh, yeah, so increased damage with the offhand, so we might as well throw that on there. And then let's also go to um, guild here. So we have the mages guild now. So they have another uh, per, uh, per, per, suf, per, I know the word, but I can't say it. That's my brain. Uh, anyways, um, you can, uh, it's like intimidate, but not sort of, you know, maybe smart talking or whatever. Uh, basically, uh, you can get this in NPC conversations, so I like to unlock that as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I probably won't touch their abilities, probably won't touch these guys' abilities either, but, um, yeah. And then a racial, any new one? Oh yeah, Hunter's Eye, here we go, so this has got another one. Increase your stealth detection radius, blah, blah, blah. increase your movement speed by 1%. It's not a big jump, but, I mean, heck, why not, so. Uh, and the spell penetration and physical penetration probably helps a bit with damage. And then, like I said, you have all these other ones for, like, uh, woodworking and stuff like that. So you can actually use this. So uh, improves chances of extracting wood or uh, hire a lumberjack hire hireling, uh, send wood and possible other items every day, which is pretty cool. This one lets you see them easier in the world uh, when you're 20 meters or closer, so you can actually see them better. Uh, this one, what is this one? Allows use uh, sanded maple wood. Oh, okay, so you're gonna have to go through these and actually upgrade this over time to use different wood types, I guess. So blacksmithing would be uh, you know, to use iron ingots. So I didn't realize that would cost skill points. So that's cool, but uh, I won't be doing those yet because we don't really have those kind of uh, points yet to kind of use on that. So um, obviously I want to be a little bit more uh, cautious and not just blow those away. And then, of course, medium armor is still something I want. 
Uh, the only pr problem here is we're just not wearing enough medium armor yet. Eventually, as things slow down, things like that, I'll probably start, you know, being able to do that in the future. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's these rights here. I have, I don't even know what they are. I hear you can make good uh, money off of these. We'll return certify them after a brief training. Skill crafters will be served by me. Master shall charge no certification, blah, blah, blah. So continue reading. Um, interest in parties should seek, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so this is like take a handbill. So I don't know what this is about. Basically, start crafting certification. So uh, I won't do this now, but um, you can do this and basically, uh, yeah. I won't, I won't do this now. That'll be its own episode maybe. But basically, you can get certified and... These rights, I believe, can actually earn you some dough because you'll you do some crafting, and I believe they give you like a container of goods as well. So that kind of helps quite a bit. So it's like, ooh, There's you know, Merry Christmas. But uh, we'll leave that for another day, anyways. Actually, is this for the fighters or is this something Comrade, else? I have an urgent message for you. Guildmaster sees all oh, colors. Yeah, yeah. Would like to see you. But we're done with that. Uh, next episode, we might. Uh, we'll see what we're up to. I'm not even sure. Um, I said I had other plans I might do, but. Uh, it might be doing. Uh, it might be doing the zone one, continuing that, because um, we did have the thing over there. Heck, it might even be talking to. Or you know what? It might be a big chance of doing the harborage, doing that one for a bit because uh, we uh, we haven't done him for a while, right? We escaped and we haven't talked to him since we've come here, so it might be a good time to do him. But uh, either way, thank you, my friends, so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.